Hello viewers, it's Peter Elgar, Photography again here. This time I'm going to talk about a digital compact camera, the Olympus Stylus 760 Mu. Now, I won this and uh, in a photographic competition and was presented with it by the famous photographer David Bailey in London. And there were 34,000 pictures entered and the, the last 45 we all got a digital camera so I had to go to see my picture on show in London and this was the one it comes with a, a, a basic manual book and then you get with it a disc the advanced manual which you've got to put in your computer and see more advanced features and the Olympus Master that's a software thing where you can download your pictures and you can do some um, adjustments to your pictures but I've never used it because we have fast stone image viewer and Photoshop on the computer already so I've never used that but I have read the advanced manual and we look through the manual here loads and loads of pictures in different languages so you speak German or Russian, it's very handy. I never did Russian at school, but I did a bit of French. But it, it's rather scary, like all these digital cameras, if you don't um, understand the basics of digital photography. Well, I was a complete beginner. Now these leads come with it as well, plus a charging unit for the battery. I'll, I'll just charge the battery up and you put a battery in there with a plus and minus oh it goes in that way with a plus and minus the correct way and this has a plug-in lead and you can have it on the British one which is that or you can have it a continental two pin plug or you can have it on the American and Asian one but that's a, where you plug in your battery so we'll get rid of the leads in a minute this one is for attaching the camera to the computer when you want to download pictures off the of the card you've got to look at the right way around to put it in the tiny little pins it goes in there that way around make certain we get it the right way. make certain we get it the right, right way around don't want to damage anything and that bit goes into your computer now that's the lead you plug in to download pictures. If you want to show pictures on a TV screen, you plug in that one, and two little leads at the back either go in, goes into your TV. That's right. I've never used that one, but I do use the grey one quite a lot because the memory card is an XD card, and these XD cards. And now discontinued. And the um, trouble is, I don't have a card reader now for XD. Now the, the card is here. There we are. That's an XD card. The Olympus XD. One, it's a one gigabyte. I've got a two gigabyte. They're very small, but they do take a bit of reading with a card reader. It might make certain you get it the right way around. I think it pushes it in that way, I think. Yes, now here's the battery. That is a replacement battery I bought. Because the Olympus one, it wore out. And it goes in the charger with a plus and minus to correct way round. That way round, there we are. You plug your lead in, charge it up for three hours or more. Now we have to look at the correct way round to put it back in, plus and minus. There we are, that's the correct way round. You don't want to short circuit anything. Now, the camera will work, hopefully. And so we can show you some features of it. The Olympus Mu. It's 7.1 megapixels. And there's a little flash here. And you open it by pressing the on and off button. Whoops, there we are. That's the little zoom lens that comes out. And it's got a 
was it three times optical zoom 6.5 to 19.5 millimeters and the maximum aperture is f3.4 and if it, as you zoom it out it goes down to 5.7 weird aperture sizes but there we are it's all the optics of it now I've taken some quite good shots and so has my daughter because I gave it to my daughter now we turn it round and everything else is on the back so if I put it down we zoom it out a bit here we are there you can see it better we, we switched it on and that is hopefully ready to take a picture there we are it lights up with what you've done here we are this is where you take pictures with the little camera icon on there to see pictures you turn it to, to the little green one now it switches itself off to save current and save the battery so we have to keep switching it on this is the quality comes up S on the bottom here has just vanished again and the, also the battery warning comes up here if the battery is no good it was red so I had to charge it up and then you you can adjust the quality by pressing onto menu here you can find menu press menu oh here are camera menu we pr press on that one now you've got white balance which is daylight and if you want to change it you go across you can come down to we can go up to automatic white balance or you can come down to set daylight or cloudy and tungsten light i've used it on all those settings when it's very very dull light we put it to cloudy when it's standard daylight we put it to daylight because automatic doesn't work every time and people keep thinking automatic will also do if you're indoors or at a show with tungsten lights it doesn't do it comes out all yellow for indoor shots you've got to put it down to tungsten light there so then that is the white balance okay now the setting for the sensitivity is the next one down that's on 100 you can change it you can go up to 80 you can go down as 1600 now the result at 1600 are dreadfully um, grainy that's the, then there's a um, drive we can have it on what single shot or you can have it on multiple shot like motor one or very high drive mode which takes loads of pictures all at once but I've never used that there's loads of things on here this is the sort of exposure setting and you can have it on spot now that's on spot setting measures a tiny little area in the center of the frame now to use spot metering correctly you have to be an advanced photographer if you're a beginner don't use spot metering because you won't understand the correct use of it and you'll spoil your photos I can guarantee that so I'm an advanced photographer well I hope I am having been in it over 60 years but I don't always use spot metering but I do know when to use it most of the time you put it on ESP then digital zoom is off now the digital zoom will give you a greater range but it, it magnifies the center of your picture and it comes out all grainy the autofocus mode here is a spot in the center and this one is I think that one is sound and then the other one panorama shooting which I've never used that so we don't want panorama shooting get rid of that now and then we quality your quality of the pictures are in this image quality one here now I've got it set to the best quality image 3072 pixels by 2304 with no JPEG squashing up sort of thing 
There's another one down, the same size, high quality, but the um, that's a JPEG which is slightly squashed down. The next one, SQ1, and these other ones, SQ2, they are JPEG qualities, but they've been the pixels have been minimized for emails and stuff. So then you can have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, which is a wide screen, but if you're going to have prints done, don't use that 16 to 9 aspect ratio because your prints will come out a very large funny shape on the paper with loads of white and you don't need that. Now other things, I'll clap my back. There's one here, um, setup. I've got to find how to get across the setup here. Format, now that means you clear all the pictures. It warns you. Do you want to format? That means get rid of everything on the card. And you go up to yes and press it. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. So I'll click on no. You win it. We got it on English, because ich sprechen English, aber ich kann auch ein wenig Deutsch sprechen. Yeah, here we are, Deutsche, yeah. But I'll keep it on English for the moment. You can have it on, I don't know quite what that means. You can have a, th a different theme. I've got it on blue, my daughter had on pink for girls. There we are. But that's now on pink. There's all these settings here. Now the main other main ones are if you want to do the flash. Now this is the flash setting which is very useful and I've used this a lot. Now that at the moment is quite good on its pink mode. That's got a little line through it, it means it won't flash at all. But if you want fill in flash, you put it up to this one and click yes, okay. That will flash every time and you can use it for filling flash outdoors in bright light because this camera will synchronize at flash at all shutter speeds. That is flash with a red eye setting that will flash twice. Once so that you close your eye down and the other time it takes the picture but I've never used that. An automatic means the flash comes on when it thinks it should come on when it's a bit dark. But I've never used that. I normally have it on fill in flash or no flash. We'll keep it on no flash for the moment. Then you, that, that is um, mostly the settings that I use. Now this is here. Let me turn it to pictures that you've taken. I've just taken these today. Oh, I missed that one. If you want to see the pictures, you press. Yes, they're, they're no good because I've I've got one good, I took it waist level. Oh, here we are. Well, that's a good one, it's not a bad one. In the market, a bloke with a dog, see? And I've just managed to hold that waist level and catch him. These are straight off the camera, no cheating, because I haven't put them into the computer yet. There's some things in the market. If I've got a bad one, yeah, there's a bad one, I missed it. So we can delete this. You press this little button here, a little thing comes up, do you want to delete it or erase it? You say yes. You press that and it says busy, then the bad photograph has gone. You've erased it. I miss the car that crashed up across the road, but I don't need that one now, so we can delete that. Yes. And we go back. I took two of that car that's crashed across our road. Yes, delete that or we're deleting it. That's how you do it. There's a beggar woman, I've, I've enlarged that up. So this is how you view your photographs with the little green line here. Now, if you put it to some scene pictures, you've got these choice of 10 scenes. It, it tells you on these pictures, on these scenes here, you can take in low light condition without a flash, and then you can go down to do them sunset pictures, fireworks to give you a slow shutter speed. I don't know what cuisine is, cooking behind the glass so that it doesn't focus on the glass, copying documents, like photographing documents, auction pictures if it's the things you want to sell, 
shoot and select one, shoot and select two, beach and snow. That will give you a bit of extra exposure for shooting into white snow. But if you, or if you know what you're doing, and you can set the same thing manually. Look, you've got, you've got an exposure compensation here. For shooting with snow, you press that, and you come across to, to but one stop, or one and a half stops, or 1.7 stops plus. And that is, for, that is for shooting with snow. And if you're shooting somebody on a stage, as my daughter did, there's some done some concerts with this, you go down to minus, minus one for people in spotlight and it will, it will stop them being overexposed. So that is compensation that done manually. But you can, as I say, use these so-called scene modes. Then there's a guide for shooting. What to do, brightening the subject, shooting the backlight, and then there's a video mode. Now if I press this on that, I'm going to start videoing my cloth, which I don't really want to do, but my daughter has done some videos on this camera and got some quite good results. We'll switch it off for a minute and we'll show you some of the results that she's taken. Here we are. We went to, um, went to America in 2010 and there's some pictures she's taken with it. Oops, I mustn't knock anything on the floor. This is in a, this is in a, um, what you call it, the aquarium. And that's a fish there, look at that yellow fish with natural light. That's quite good I think for a compact digital camera with a young girl doing the photography. That's, that is taken at night, you see. You can use a scene mode for that, or you can do it manually. There's some jazz players. Now this has got filling flash because you can see their faces are illuminated. But look how black the background is and the shadows are coming towards you, but you can see their faces. That is when you use filling flash in daylight with the flash on all the time. That's a flash picture of a dessert. You should have one of the American desserts. Look at the size of it. There's a portrait. We zoomed it out. You see, for portrait, you zoom it out a bit. Now, this is the inside under sort of spotlit conditions. And she's used the um, exposure compensation to tone it down a bit because they've got a very dark background there in a show and it came out very well. This is one of the Simpsons. There we are, that's quite good. I think for a young girl with that camera she's done a good job. So this is the Olympus Mew 760. We've shown you quite a few features on it. Showing you the memory card and the battery and some of these controls at the back here. Oh, that's the, that's the zoom here. When you, you, you zoom out put something to show. There we are. Where are we? Now, this, it, it, can, oops, it keeps switching itself off to save, save the battery. There we are. Now, look. We, Focus it, press it gently, zoom it out as maximum, zoom it back as the wide angle. There we are. Oh, we could see if we can take a picture of it. If I can hold it steadily enough. Right, it's done a picture with no flash and it's processed it in the camera. Let's see what it's come out like. There it is. Look at that, perfect. <laughs> I can't imagine that I can get better photos with my Hasselblad than this little zoom compact camera. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick rundown, folks. 
and look at some more of my videos and if you think I'm any good please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for viewing and cheerio for now.